Entertainment. Good morning, everybody. Starting out the day with a lot of sunshine, but big changes are going to be coming as the day progresses. So as you're heading out the door, don't let that sunshine fool you. Grab those umbrellas as you're heading out the door. Yes, blue skies and sunshine are here at the moment, but the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch that's currently in effect for Niihau, Kauai, and Oahu. Here's what we have. There's an upper-level disturbance that's forecast to pass to the north of the state, and as it does, we're expected to see a band of clouds and showers pass through at least the western portion of the state. Now, now, thanks to instability in the atmosphere, some of those showers that we do see do have a good potential that they could be very heavy, and we even have a slight chance of thunderstorms. That chance of thunderstorms is what's new to the forecast today compared to what we've been seeing the past couple of days, and that threat looks like going to stick with us until about 6 o'clock this evening. Now, what we also have is a cold front that's approaching. Ahead of the cold front, once again, southwesterly winds. That's going to keep things very humid and very uncomfortable for the majority of the state. I just checked the current conditions at last check about 9. 92% humidity is what clocked in here in Honolulu. So definitely not too comfortable. In terms of rainfall, again, we're seeing some sunshine out there, but the radar is showing a few widespread showers, nothing too heavy for Maui County, but we are seeing a heavy cell just offshore of Kauai. Take a look at that. That's about to be moving through. So again, flash flood watch continues for Niihau to Oahu, and we're going to be seeing that threat of heavy downpours through tomorrow. Now, as a cold front continues to approach and passes through the state, we're not going to be seeing this rainfall going anywhere anytime soon. It's going to stick with us through the weekend. The southwesterly winds strong today and tomorrow, but then we start to see a slight return of trades on Friday. All right, that's all your weather, and I'll send it on out to Surf News Network's Gary Cooley, who has everything you need to know about your surf today. Hey, good morning, Gary. Hey, Kelly, good morning. Well, it's official. It's the worst day of surfing all year so far. It's like a flat to a foot on the North Shore. It's lumpy out at Makaha. It's grumpy, and it's only a foot in town. It's Oh, choppy at one, one and a half. I don't know what to say. Diamond ends up to two, but it's just lame, broken to pieces. All thanks to the Kona winds. Sandy Beach and Makapu'u, not even two. Ooh, what? Kona winds sticking around through tomorrow. Trades back on Friday, trying to clean up the surf. Little pulses of surf, especially Saturday, and then big on Tuesday. Winter caliber. The swell's kind of delayed for the Monday, Tuesday, but it's going to be big. 12 feet Hawaiian scale. We had a high tide an hour ago going low at lunch. Our invisible green flash at 647. And that is the update. Compliments of Green Tea Hawaii inviting you to Healthy Kids Day at Camp Erdman this Saturday, the 14th. I'm sorry, April 14th. And that's going to be 10 to 3. Check them out, ymca-honolulu.org for a Healthy Kids Day. All right, Ron and Christine, over to you. Gary. Thank you. We love the way you say it's the worst day. <laughs> Of surf, but you said it with so much zest yeah. and energy. <laughs> only GQ can Only do GQ that. can pull that one off. But GQ, I'm going to give you a cookie, okay? We're going to get you some Snickers bars. Make you feel a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. Top